So I was in a little bit of a rush over the weekend to get my new uh, Supercharger Stage 2 kit installed. So these are just some highlights uh, from the install. Uh, this visual that you're looking at now is just the clutch cover removed. And you can see the 2016 clutch only has three clutch springs uh, bolts. Um, it's a few less than, than uh, the earlier years or 2015. Um, just wanted to let you guys see this so you can get an idea of what it looks like underneath the clutch cover. Uh, most of you guys probably watching this have H2s. You, know, you may not be doing your own maintenance, but this is what it looks like. Uh, this next slide uh, is just basically what it looks like uh, behind the clutch. And you can see the two supercharger gears there. Um, and I think these are the stock gears. It's 20, 25 teeth on the top and 22 on the bottom. And uh, we installed the stage two, which is 24 on the top and 23 on the bottom. And um, it was a pretty, it was a pretty challenging install, uh, to say the least. Uh, things were a little bit tough to get to. Um, as far as the tensioner, you had to remove the uh, the whole top end. Uh, you know, to, to get the tensioner out. But ideally, if you're going to do this mod, you want to start from the bottom and work your way up to the top. And so this is this is what it looks like inside. Uh, this next slide that you're looking at, um, these are the stock uh, velocity stacks, and you can see that Kawasaki has screens over them. The screens have been shown to kind of hurt power, but I'm sure Kawasaki did this to protect the motor from uh, debris and also in the rare event your supercharger disintegrates. But we hope that never happens. Uh, I think that's what it said in the service manual. It said uh, protect uh, the engine in case there's a problem with the supercharger. So who knows what Kawasaki ran into during their testing, but um, I'm sure they had a reason for that. This next slide that you're looking at um, is basically underneath the gas tank. With the air box and those velocity stacks removed, uh, you're looking at the throttle body, and uh, this is what you'll run into. Uh, we were able to get to the, the supercharger chain tensioner without moving the throttle body. Uh, we were just uh, able, we were able to remove the fuel rail, and that allowed us to get to it. I just want to apologize. I didn't get as much uh, good video as I wanted. I was busy trying to figure it out and uh, didn't have much of a camera person helping me. Uh, but we eventually got it done and I apologize for not getting the picture of the RG62 kit installed. But I will be stripping the clutch cover again to change that gasket in a few weeks and I'll get you um, the look. These are the RG62 velocity stacks that you're looking at now. And as you can see, they clean up nice. They're pretty big and uh, they actually make the bike sound much better. I'm going to let this thing idle with the Stage 2 Supercharger Kit so you guys can see how it sounds.
does seem to be a tad louder. It might have something to do with the velocity stacks. Um, but at idle, you can't really tell that anything has been done. <laughs> the thing is a total sleeper. But, uh, like I posted in my other vid, I'm not really sure what to expect horsepower wise. There were guys reporting that they have uh, close to 260 horsepower. Um, I don't think I'll get that. Um, I'm running a conservative ignition timing map. Uh, my rev limiter is at 13,500 RPM. Um, and I'm just running a slip on, not a full system. I hope to be good for a genuine 250 on pump gas um, or very high 240s. Uh, I'll definitely be pleased with that depending on the weather conditions. So, um, so far so good. The installation was a little bit tricky. installation was a little bit tricky um, you had to pull obviously the air box to get to this tensioner right here uh, the instructions say that if you want to uh, remove that you have to pull the, the throttle body right there but we were able to not have to pull that we just removed the fuel rail with the injectors um, and that gave us access to that. Resetting that tensioner was a bit tricky. You had to hold the circ clip open and then rotate it clockwise and push it at the same time and it was spring, spring loaded. So that was challenging. Um, with the actual supercharger gears, uh, I felt that <laughs> it was a little bit tricky trying to torque it down the spec because whenever you try to torque it, the whole assembly would rotate um, tried a few things, tried putting it in gear and so on, and it just kept turning. There's just no way around it. Um, so <laughs> we actually used two sockets and Loctited one, waited for it to dry, and then did the other one. It was 15 foot-pounds for the bottom, and it was 18 foot-pounds for the bolt and for that uh, upper gear. Um, and the trick is obviously installing the thing without destroying your gaskets um, if you're gonna do this I would recommend changing gaskets you know the manual says whenever you break a gasket change it I know guys like to do it and we use gaskets on the cheap but that clutch cover gasket is twenty dollars the airbox gasket can't be any much more than that just spend the fifty bucks get the gaskets man I'm gonna probably go in here in another couple of weeks crack everything open again and put new gaskets um, I assume that the kit came with the gaskets. It didn't. Um, so, that was that. Packing the clutch, you gotta be careful. Oh, and also, I installed the, the spring, clutch spring kit that Brock sells. And, or I should just say clutch springs. Uh, there's three of them for 2016. And my clutch feel is heavier. Uh, a little bit. It's it's definitely noticeable before it was just you touch it and it came in now there's a little bit of pull so um but i don't mind that i like my clutches a little bit heavy heavy because i feel like i feel like it's doing something um and i have an easier time modulating it when i go into a corner so i like a little bit of heavier clutch feel i actually like these springs if you like a very light clutch feel keep it stock <laughs> Um, I wouldn't mess with it but so far so good um, I'm gonna go test ride it and I got a map in there I added 10 10% more fuel everywhere over 6,000 rpm from 20% throttle all the way up to 100% throttle I won't be redlining the thing 
um, how I'm trying to get to 60-80% throttle. I should notice it right away. Um, and then I'll post back uh, and, and let you guys know what I thought of the test ride. But so far so good. Gonna get suited up, go for a test ride, and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.